Hey everyone, welcome to the start of another vlog. I am at the airport because we are now on our way to Milan and then we're going to be heading to Florence. This vlog is going to be a Milan vlog. So if you want to know what shopping is like over there, what food is like over there, the culture, everything, then keep watching and hopefully you'll enjoy this. Now I need to go and find David. We can't check in yet until like 15 minutes and we're just waiting around to check in our bags. I didn't sleep all last night because I was so excited about this trip. I was just, because we had to get up at three in the morning and I, all night, you know when you're just waiting for the alarm to go off? I was doing that the whole night. So yeah, a bit weird. Um, anyway, we're gonna go and check our bags in in like 10 or 15 minutes. And then the next time you will see me is when we are airside and I'll show you around the shops. So while we're here, let's have a look at some of the shops because the shopping in T5 is actually very good. What have they got? They've got some long shop. What are the prices like? Oh, actually it doesn't matter now, does it? Because you don't get any tax off. Just not walking now to like some of the other stores. There's duty free there. And um, down here we've got like Dior, Chanel, like it's actually really good in here for shopping, you know that. So here we're just walking up to Chanel, let's see what they've got. Have a look in the window and try and get in and try and film. That's a sweet bag there. I do quite like those shoes. We are now inviting priority customers in groups one and two. really like these pink ones. They're nice. Everyone, that was so easy filming in Chanel just then. Oh my God. Now let's have a look in Dior. I don't think this is gonna be as easy. You see, when Enrique is there, no problem, but otherwise, problemo. Okay, the um, guy in there in true Dior style was lovely. He was so nice and he was like, yeah, you know, like film away. So that was nice. Oh, I like this little backpack, that one. Okay, we've just stopped off at Hermes and I said to David, do you think they might have a Constance? No, I'm not gonna look because I'm on, uh, what is it called? No Spend Island at the moment. I mean, I say that, but I'm going to Milan, it might all change. today to the center of Milan so our hotel turns out is kind of kind of as far away isn't it it is would you say it's kind of when I booked it I didn't realize how far out of the main city center the hotel is so I think the walk's gonna be like an hour realistically 40 minutes an hour but we're gonna walk there check out what's going on have a look at the shops do all of that. 
Okay, so we've carried on walking and we, we're starting to find really cool little boutiques. Sorry about the noise, it's quite noisy around here. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to find some quite nice boutiques by brands that you've never heard of that aren't just like Zara and H&M, which I really like. I like variety, you know? And yeah, this place looks cool. This jacket's nice. Yeah, David just said, he's like, it looks a bit like Chanel and it actually does look a bit, those kind of vibes. And down here, hopefully you can see just some prices there. And that's when they're open. And look at this, we've just found this other shop called Save My Bag. I don't know whether, do they restore stuff? Or do they just sell? Because look, they've got bags that look just like the Hermes Birkin in there. Look at that. This is quite cool. It's closed though, so we can't go in. Just found my favorite shop, which is Elisabetta Frankie. And I think we need to go in. Look at those boots. Not that I would wear those anywhere because I live in sneakers these days, but those boots are just stunning. Oh, look at that jacket as well. I quite like that with all the buttons on it. That's quite nice. And it's got a belt that goes around the middle. I might try that. David's like, no more jackets, please. I do buy a lot of jackets. Oh, this is nice. Look at this dress. It's very Barbie. So these are what I'm trying on. I'm, those trousers you saw earlier that are like cargo trousers um, in the black. Oh, there was meant to be khaki kind of colour. Um, and also this top, which is just like a plain polo neck. And these are prices, that's in euros, obviously. And this jumper is like got the label on the back. I think you can remove that though. Yeah, and these are too big. I knew it. These fit better on the waist, but they're like quite baggy on the leg. Okay, everyone, so, so noisy around here. Oh, sorry, I went into that store, as you saw, and I did actually find um, a pair of those trousers that fitted, which I'm so pleased about, and I absolutely love them. I didn't know whether to get them in the khaki green or the black, but David in the end said, get them in black, because they'll go with everything, so that's what we did. But now we're gonna carry on walking, and I think we're gonna head to the cathedral now. Just outside Armani, and there are some bags in the window. They're quite cute, aren't they? So there's a pink one and a black one and some boots down there and look down this little look at this tiny little street and we found Karl Lagerfeld and there are some bags in this window as well these are cool bags we've just found this shop Valextra and they have their own bags I love this about Italy is that we're walking down these streets and there are literally these little boutique shops selling their own items. It makes such a refreshing change to have so much choice. You know, compared to like, love the UK and all that, but your average high street is Zara and H&M, as I mentioned, and it just, just gets boring after a while. Just outside that little cafe, which was a nice cafe actually, look down there, how amazing does that look? I think we might walk in that direction because I know there is a very big shopping centre around here somewhere that's very famous and I would love to show you that. I'd love to see it myself, actually. Okay, so you know I told you about the shopping centre. I didn't realise it's like an outdoor shopping centre and that that we stood in front of is the actual shopping centre. I've got to show you it. I, I thought it was like an enclosed indoor shopping centre. It's not. So this is it. Look, it's like you just walk in. It's just open. And how incredible is that architecture? Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. I'm so taking this all in that I keep forgetting to film. We're going to get people's faces in this and there's nothing I can do about that. I'm really sorry. You know, I don't normally like to do that, but 
I really want to be able to show you around here without doing that too much. Look at that roof. Isn't that incredible? So this is it, we are in. Love it in here. There's such good vibes, it's so much fun and everyone's like trying to take their picture and David's already had someone come up to it because David's cameraman. Someone already came up to him and was like, can you take our picture? He's so good at it. He's really good at photography. So behind me is Swarovski. And then in front of me, we've got Louis Vuitton, Prada, and some more places. We'll have a walk around and see. So here we've got Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Prada. And I love the front of these shops. They're all so like quintessential Milan. And then there is also Gucci. Uh, oh, that's sweet. Look at that little one there, sparkly one. That's very sweet. Okay, so it's, again, it's very noisy, I'm afraid. Over there, that's that shopping centre. And then if we go this way, look at that, the cathedral. I wonder if you can go in. That is very impressive. Honestly, if you see this in real life, it's almost like, oh my God, it's like so beautiful. We stopped now and we've come into this really sweet little cafe restaurant that we well it's more of a cafe really and we've stopped for an Aperol spritz and some pizza because when you're in Italy you have to it's just the law uh, I'll show you what we've ordered so they have this deal where you get some pizza some olives some crisps and an and two Aperol spritz for like 15 euros which we thought was pretty good because our hotel is really expensive um, for, for what you get it's quite expensive so we're gonna try this now David's just trying the pizza and he said that it's actually really good so I'm still full from breakfast though are you not no, no I'm full from breakfast but I'll have like some pizza because I really want to try it, it actually does look good um, it looks really good and I found this department store look around me this department store so we're gonna go and explore just to appear oh my god guys this is a decent decent shopping center or department store look do you know the saddlebag is growing on me I really like this I've got it in denim but I wouldn't mind it in leather actually you know now I see it absolutely gorgeous and that's nice in that sort of Merlot burgundy color quite like the strap on that that's nice Two smaller versions there. And then just next door in Louis Vuitton, there's this in the window, which is another really nice bag. I love these chunky chain handles on them. And look, you can remove that. If you want to remove that, you can. No way. And look at all of this, all of this luggage. And that coat. If you're into the logo, that coat's quite cute. With the bag. Oh, look at these little Fendi bags. I really like these. I know they're tiny, but they're actually quite well priced. And the Trezor bag. These are under 2000 I think they're about 1500 last time I looked. Um, both of these bags, actually, are around about the same price. This is the front of them. That monogram one is really, really sweet. I didn't know this came in a baby so Oh, no, maybe I did. That's really cute that it's on a belt. It's nice with that kind of cape poncho. Look at this Stella McCartney with the sort of petrol oil coloured chain. It's quite nice in that size. I've got this in the larger size. I mean, it doesn't work for me, but it's quite cute. Are they quirky? Are they a bit weird? I don't know. Quite like them. Givenchy. It's nice. That's the smaller one. I like the handle that you get with it. That looks a bit like the 30 Montaigne, doesn't it? Dior. And it's in white as well. Really like these. This one. This is nice. Look. Size-wise to medium Lady Dior. Similar, and this will be so much less. And in the white. Quite like that black one though, the leather. This is canvas. Ooh. What do we think of uh, Givenchy? I do like Givenchy. That's nice. 
Oh, no way. Look, so it comes in canvas as well. So that's like a fabric. That looks like denim. And this one's got a better strap on it. I have not seen this at home. Look at that. Matte pink. Okay, I've just found these boots and I absolutely love them. I think with skinny jeans, they would look so nice. But they're a lot. They're 750 euros, which is like quite a lot for those. But this brand is called FAP. I might look that brand up when I get back to the UK. I've never heard of it before, I will say. That was such a good store. It's called Rina Sente. I think that's how you pronounce it, if you're wondering. And it's right near, you know, just there. That's where that famous shopping center is but this is the department store let me just show you the high street because it's like it really goes on so it goes all the way down there that's just where we've been and it goes all the way up here which is where we're going just going to give you a quick room tour david's just taking a shower so i've got the room to myself uh, for a moment um these are some of the clothes i brought with me so this is a button-up jacket that's from urban revivo this which i love this is from zara look at those sleeves love that it's like a cropped off a baggyish blazer then i have this blazer this is from lily silk then i just brought that that's like a really basic casual coat that i wore on the plane then i've got the blazer that i'm wearing which i think you've seen let me show you in the mirror it is this it's a bit crumpled actually because i sat down for lunch and it's got creases in it but yeah it's just this um it's kind of cool. It's creased, isn't it? Gosh, didn't look like that earlier. But yeah, it looks creased now. So this is what I'm wearing now. And this is the room when we booked this. So there's a story to tell on this. The, the room it is fine. It's clean. It's functional. Very comfortable bed. Slept like a baby last night. We've got like a little bar area here. Um, everything in the mini bar is free. Yes. Can you believe it? When we checked in, they were like, everything's free. And we were like, what? what and they were like yeah it's all free help yourself so when we when we were booking our hotel i booked this trip back in june um and initially we were meant to come here in september because it was september fashion week there were no hotels so i booked the hotel that we've got which is a bit of a way out of town which is less than ideal but the hotels that were free there was like the four seasons but it was literally for one night it was like 1200 pounds it was something crazy and naturally if you're going to do a week somewhere that's going to really add up i'd rather do my singapore long haul trip for, if i'm going to spend that kind of money um so that was that anyway we then had to cancel the trip in september because of work and move it until to october which is what the month we're in now and as soon as we did that the hotel prices came down but we'd have lost the money that we paid for this hotel so we thought, stuff it, we'll just carry on and stay there. And it's fine. Um, it's fine. It's just, it's not kind of like, it's more of a business hotel I want to stay as opposed, as, I want to say as opposed to like a luxury hotel. It's very functional. It's very clean. It's very tidy. Everyone that works here is amazing. Um, but if you want like a luxury hotel, I wouldn't say this is it, but I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't say don't stay here. I would actually say if you want a more affordable hotel, it's like a four star, then stay at this one. I would actually say that. But if you want somewhere really plush, then um, this, this I don't think is it, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, what we're going to do now, David's taking a shower and then I think we're going to go out for um, like an early dinner and some drinks in a little bit and I'll take you with us. Okay, it's a few hours later um, and we are both going to go out for some drinks and then out for dinner. I'm going to wear the same outfit because I'm debuting this blazer and I absolutely love it and I feel like it's quite fine for evening as well as day. It's kind of quite, quite glam. So there's this cafe bar near the hotel that we saw and it's on a corner and we looked at it yesterday and it actually looks quite good so we're going to check it out but if it isn't any good then we're going to go somewhere else and we're also thinking we might check out the hotel bar a bit later after we've had some dinner um, and when we checked in they gave us passes so that you get free prosecco um, for two of us so I've got those passes with me in my bag um, so that we can go and do that but I'm really hungry so let's go and I can't wait to show you the food. I really hope the food is going to be good. All I want, so we've been here, today is our first proper day. Yesterday we arrived in the morning. 
but the first day you know what it's like you're tired and it's like where is everything and we were walking around trying to figure out where everything was in proximity to the hotel but I haven't had pasta yet since I've been here I haven't really had pizza either since I've been here but pasta is my thing so that's what I'm hoping to have for dinner so our hotel is just behind us and in front of the hotel is this which is the central station which um, in a couple of days we go to Florence that's the station we're going to get our train from so it's convenient because we can just cross the road but the place we're going to is down here and it's over this road and then on the corner just there I'm already looking at the pastas and the one I'm thinking about getting is the spaghetti with seafood I love that that's like one of my favorites although oh they have with swordfish oh there's so many things to choose from or there is also pizza available and there's like a really big selection of pizzas to go with hmm what are you thinking of having david i don't know yet pizza or pasta i don't know yet. you don't know yet i think I might get lasagna. you might get lasagna i might get that because I looked at the bolognese. Yes. And they put peas in it. There's peas in the bolognese. I don't put peas. When I make bolognese, I don't put peas. David doesn't put peas in bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe I it's meant to come with bolognese. Okay. Oh. David doesn't like peas. Um, okay. Yeah. Lasagna. And I think I'm going to go for the seafood. But I'm just going to have a look at the rest of the menu. Check this out, everyone. So our drinks have arrived. I got limoncello spritz. Thank you, David, for the water. And they're so good around here. We've noticed everywhere you go, you get free snacks <laughs> and they're substantial. So we've got here some like, it looks like ham and cheese croissant, some crisps, then we've got some olives back there. I cannot wait to try this. I've wanted a limoncello since I got here as well as some pasta. So we decided to order food and this is what David got, the margarita. And I did get the carbonara in the end. I'm hoping this, it smells good. I'm hoping this tastes really good. Yours is huge. It is. You better be hungry. <laughs> so full. So full. So full. David has insisted that I have some of his pizza. Yeah. Um, I'm dying. I'm so full. Oh, that was so nice. I'm so full. I can't eat. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so full. We're going to walk back to the hotel now and check out the hotel bar. We've come into the hotel bar and it's quite nice. There's quite a nice vibe in here and we've ordered a couple of drinks. We're just going to go and chill out and relax and I'll show you what we've ordered in a second. I actually went for a Campari spritz and I think David's getting like a vodka soda or something. And just a soda. Just a soda. He likes to sound really on videos. He's like, tell everyone I... <laughs> Don't, don't drink. I can't say that. What are you telling everyone? I didn't tell anyone anything. I'm having a soda water. He's having a soda water with vodka. And for any of you who are Italian, if you know why this is, please let me know. But whenever you order a drink, or whenever we've ordered a drink in Milan, you get food with it, and you don't pay for the food. Like, you get crisps, or olives, or little sandwiches. And in the UK, they would definitely be making you pay for that. Trust me, in the UK, no, you get nothing for free in the UK. So I don't know why it is that in Italy you're getting all this free goodness. But um, we actually just had to request no food, please, because we because we just ate, we're so full. It's incredible. Um, have you got any thoughts to add, David? Anything? No. It's got nothing to add. It's got I'm nothing. just looking forward to my soda water. Yeah, he wants his soda water. <laughs> Our drinks have arrived. Cheers by the light. I got a Campari in the end. Did I say that? I don't think I said that. Maybe I did say that. I can't remember because the drinks took a little while. Drinks took a little while and they've just turned up. So, yeah. Campari. And I need to... I actually need to thank... He's got soda water. I actually need to thank Veronica if you're watching. Veronica is from Italy. I won't say where. And Veronica said to me, when you're there, forget Aperol Spritz. You have to get Campari. So that's Veronica. That's what I'm drinking. I really hope you've enjoyed hanging out. This is part one. There will be a part two coming up. As soon as part two is live, I will link to it below in the description. But otherwise, keep an eye out because it will be out in the next few days. Thank you again and see you in the next video.